Good afternoon, morning, it's actually morning here, uh, everybody. My name is Jaffe, and this is the start of this screencast that I'm going to be doing that's going to take this website here, the Boise Community Concerts website, we're going to redo it. Um, the group that I did this for a while back, um, this was one of the first websites I ever did, and so it's kind of a mess as far as code goes, and it's not dynamic. Um, there are links here you can see, you can purchase, and I'm just basically using a table here, uh, upcoming concerts, um, just some real basic stuff here, and I want to make this a little bit more dynamic. Uh, unfortunately, they're not able to make changes to the site. I have to do it for them, and it's just not, it's not convenient for, for them or, or for me, so, um, uh, I've been tasked to completely redo the website. They want to keep the images and they want to keep the way it looks, but the underlying aspect of it we're going to change. So in this screencast, we're going to go from start to finish on this. Um, I have access to all the files, of course, but um, I'm going to actually show you some techniques to cut images and take images from a website <clears throat> that kind of thing using some great tools uh, and you have to excuse me allergies are pretty high so I'm gonna be sniffing a lot but so um, well, first things first a couple of plugins that I use uh, for, on Firefox that are fantastic and I, I can't stress how much I use them um, one is called Colorzilla uh, right here and it puts this little eyedropper down here in the bottom right corner and you click on that and that gives you your crosshairs and then you just uh, click on the color on the screen and then when you right click on it you can copy it tells you what the colors are um, you can actually get the color, entire color scheme for the website um, you can get a color picker that pulls up which is really really valuable um, anyway it's a great it's a great add-on and the other one is Font Finder. So what Font Finder does is if you click on this little icon here and then highlight a font and then release it, it's going to tell you what font family, everything you need to know about that font, it gives you the color, all that good stuff. So very useful tools. I recommend checking them out. And then I've also got the web developer tools. Um, that add-on so uh, you can display meta information and all that stuff uh, source information all that stuff so um, first things first we're gonna start off we're not gonna do any coding we're gonna start off in Photoshop here um, I do have the <coughs> original files um, here that I used and you'll see that basically this was all just one image um, which is not really SEO friendly um, because we don't have the title here or anything like that um, so we need to change that but I need to see what font we're using that kind of thing um, and that's where the font finder comes in color gradients that kind of stuff but for right now we're gonna have to to figure out what I need to use so we know that I'm gonna need this gradient background and we know that I'm going to need this image and this image is actually just uh, or this image is just this one blown up and we liked the fuzzy look it got so it's not really clear so we're gonna keep that so first thing I need to do is just in Photoshop take my cropper and crop this to where I want it to be because we know I'm gonna want this and we'll crop that and we're going to save for web and devices and we're gonna save this as a JPEG I actually want this to be a high quality so we're gonna save that and you can see I've actually already uh, saved it so we're gonna go ahead and save it in here so this is gonna be called piano and then we'll just go back on the history and 
we're going to want that up there, but we're going to want this little sucker here. So we're going to crop it out. And then I'm going to zoom in on it. And I am going to use the magic wand. Set my tolerance kind of high and start picking all this stuff here. All right, and we are going to right click layer via copy, and then I'm going to shut this background off. Hit all this, and then we're just going to go to crop. Deselect it, and then we'll save this for web and devices. And obviously, we want to save this as a PNG, and we're going to call this fiddle. <clears throat> and let's see, last thing that we want to do is get these gradients. Now if uh, we go to the website here's where the color picker comes in handy. We'll pick that color and we're going to copy that RGB or the uh, hex code value. And we'll go back into Photoshop and opening Illustrator on accident. Photoshop we're going to open up a new uh, file we're going to make it the 1024 by 768 so that's the size of the website there and we're going to use the gradient and I'm going to pick the gradient pick the first one here Let's close illustrator there and the first color we want is the the one we selected with the color picker that dark gray we'll go back out to the website and we want this gradient to color down here, so we'll go down to the very bottom and pick that. Right click on it and copy that to the clipboard. Go back in here and click on this color. Paste it in there. And now we have our gradient that we want. And we'll start from the top, hold shift down, go all the way to the bottom. And there it is. Next thing we want to do is just go to our image and image size. Make sure constraint proportions is not checked. And we'll set that to a width of 1. Click OK. And again, save for web and devices. This is going to be JPEG. It can be medium, fine, is fine. Click Save. And we're going to put this as the page wrap BG. Because this is the page wrap, this is not this gradient but that is next. So we need a <coughs> other new file here. We'll just do it because it's quick. And grab this color picker, go all the way up to the top here. And make sure we get very, very top. And we'll copy that. And we're going to open up our gradient sample again here. Paste that, and one last thing, we'll go all the way to the bottom, pick that color, paste that into there. Click OK, all the way down, and there we have that. We're going to save this image or change this image to one pixel and then we're going to save for web and devices medium again is fine and we're just going to call this BG so we have our fiddle we have this we have our gradients and that's it at this point we're going to move into actually coding the website and that'll be on a different screencast thanks